Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I'm Ishan Sharma and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the seven projects that you can make in 2021. Let's get started. Now these projects, first of all, will be a lot of fun for you to create. And secondly, you will be able to put it on your resume and it would look good over there as well. So these are some projects that you can do and they have multiple backgrounds. You know, some are into learning Python. Once you learn Python, you can create those projects and some are into maybe if you have learned cognitive coding, then you can create those projects. It depends on you, which one you want to choose. Let me know in the comments, which one will you be choosing? But let's get started with the first one. And this is going to be to create an algorithm visualizer. Now you might have already seen these, uh, these websites or these apps in which you can just see how does an algorithm actually work. Let's uh, talk about sorting. For example, there are multiple sorting algorithms. You have bubble sort, merge sort, selection sort, insertion sort. So how do they actually work? You can create a website that shows the people, how does it actually work? You can have like an array that they can input and it will show them how exactly are the numbers getting interchanged and how is it sorting the array. This is really interesting. Uh, take a look at this. You might need to learn JavaScript. You might need to learn maybe, uh, I don't know, Flutter, for example, or React Native. Do your own research about how to create these applications. You can find tons of resources online and even on the Geeks for Geeks website. So have a look at that. But this is really interesting. If you are into cognitive coding or if you are into data structures and algorithms, I think this would be huge for you to create something like this. And I see a lot of people using it into their own resumes. And now let's talk about the second project. And this would be to create a machine machine learning model of some sort. Now you can go into supervised learning or unsupervised learning or even reinforcement learning. You can find a lot of ideas that you can create projects on. Maybe you can create like a stock market prediction application or you can create some sort of app to detect if that photo has tumor in it or not. Right? Uh, you can also do things like once you go into computer vision, you can actually detect what is uh, how many fingers there are. And with that, it would actually show you the number of fingers that you are displaying in front of the webcam. There is also this really popular project in which you can detect if the person in the video has a mask or not. That's also something really interesting that you can try to implement. But yeah, these are a few examples on which you can create a machine learning model and you can put it into your own CV. And it's also really fun to make. Yeah, so you can take a look at TensorFlow, you can take a look at PyTorch to create them. But now let's move on to the third one. And that is going to be similar to the second one. This is going to be to create a data science visualization. Now, there are a lot of options for you. You can go to Kaggle and you can find a lot of data sets available over there. There are like thousands of data sets out there. A really popular one is the COVID data set or the Titanic data set, uh, CIFAR 10. You can try to create some sort of visualization. You can find some sort of correlation. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say that there is a data set which has a list of all the students in a college. How many hours of classes have they attended? And it also has their result. How much percentage did they get? So you can try to find a correlation between people getting more marks and them attending a lot of college classes. That's also something that you can do. Now let's talk about the tools that you would be using. So you can use matplotlib, pandas, as well as numpy. These are the modules available in Python that will enable you to create some great visualizations. Take a look at this. But now let's move on to the fourth project that you can create. And this would be to make an apps UI. Okay, so what you can do is that you can think about an application and try to create its design. How should it look like? How should it be arranged? Okay, you can create wireframes of it on, on Figma and you can show them exactly how it would look like. You can try to use some design techniques. If you are the kind of person that really enjoys design, really enjoys to create these UIs, you will have a lot of fun with this project. And once you have created these wireframes from Figma, you can just export it into a PDF and you can try to create it using JavaScript or React. So that's the main goal. Okay, that's what you can create. You can create a basic front end of an application that you yourself have thought about. That can also be like an Android app. Uh, and based upon that, you can create a great UI. Now let's talk about the fifth one. And this is going to be to create a full stack application from the ground up from scratch. You can use your own text tag that you're using. You can use Mern stack, Bean stack, Jam stack, whatever you want to use. Uh, and you can create a website, full fledged website, or even like an application and Android app. Now this will teach you a lot. This will teach you how to create great front end, how to create a great back end, how to manage databases, how to communicate between a front end and a back end, how to set up your own server. And you can also try to host it on things like GitHub pages or AWS or Azure. And then you can try to integrate a payment gateway to it, right? So there are a lot of payment gateways 
these are just applications or services that allow you to get some sort of payment from your user so maybe let's say you create uh, some sort of like an e-commerce website which would allow users to pay for the article or good that they are buying so you can try to integrate stripe for example that recently came into india or you can also try to integrate razor pay there are many others that you can take a look at but this would treat you a lot of things this would teach you exactly how a project is made from the ground up and how to create a full-fledged application that people would want to use take a look at it it might take you a lot of time but it would be teaching you a lot of things okay so yeah that's what i would say about the fifth one moving on to the sixth one and this is going to be to create your own ethereum dApps. now what is a dap dap is basically a decentralized application and here we can go in depth talking about what is a blockchain and what are smart contracts but you can google it up you can watch a lot of videos a lot of documentaries to learn this vitalik buterin is an amazing person he created ethereum and from him you can learn a lot he has a lot of videos on youtube as well and basically the think about it like this okay so back in 2007 when the app store was launched everyone was creating applications for the app store but now if you create an application it's very difficult to rank it and it is very difficult to get a mass population right so it's very difficult for you to get a lot of downloads what you can now do is that you can create dApps based on ethereum and ether and this would basically have a smart contract which if you were to fulfill it you would get that particular good now it might seem complicated for you to just imagine something like that but it really is not you can use this language called as solidity and using this you can create these ethereum dApps this is a field that will be taking a lot of momentum and there's a lot of demand in the future for something like this. Take a look at it, try to create some dApps on Ethereum. So that was the sixth project that you can create. Moving on to the seventh one, and this is going to be to create some sort of an AR application. In this case, you will be using Vuforia, which is a engine based on top of Unity 3D. Basically, what you can do is that it enables you to very quickly create these AR apps that can be uh, AR Android apps. It can also be AR web apps, or it can also be some simple applications that you have on your Windows device. Basically, what you do is that you can program it to detect a particular shape or particular figure and then replace that figure with some sort of an augmented uh, figure right or augmented shape now here is an example of how it works let's say you can program it to detect faces human faces and whenever it detects a human face you can replace that face with a mask for example now you can take a look at their website if you want to know about some more examples about how to create these ar applications and uh, the best part is that you would understand how augmented reality works at a deeper level Okay, so take a look at this if you're interested um, we will be having some links in the description that you can take a look at some articles that will help you to create these applications these projects thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below you can also let me know what other projects that you will be building in 2021 thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye